Hey guys, what's going on? Kote here, and I'm continuing this March Madness with another Game Battles game. I'll probably get two videos up tomorrow, if or Wednesday, if I can, because I'm off. I'm working a lot this week, but anyways. Uh, here's a Game Battles match against some guy named Rain. His name was Team Rainstorm or something. Uh, anyway, long story short, I'm just using this Evolution team kind of as lols, because we've played, me and him have played a bunch of times, and... Uh, it's been pretty even, but I decided to see what I could do with a bunch of UUs and NUs. So I led with Glaceon, I was fearing a fire attack from his leadoff ape, so I just decided to switch to Vaporeon. Uh, he brings in Celebi as I wish up, because he's not going to stay in. Uh, I don't want to stay in, so I just decided to go to Flareon, because he's probably going to hit me with a grass attack, but he actually surprises me and goes for a T-Wave. The, the wish, therefore, doesn't do anything, and that was a waste of time. So, I have choices right now. I know he's not going to stay in, so I could either Sunny Day or set up a sub or something. Uh, in comes his ape. I'm fearing close combat, kind of, but this Flareon is kind of fodder now that it's... I don't know. It, I just pretty much, It's pretty much just here to set up Sunny Day. Because, for this team, I thought that Leafeon had Chlorophyll, but turns out it has Leaf Guard. And I'm just an idiot with, in terms of abilities, and apparently the Dream World ability is Chlorophyll, not the actual ability. Anyway, he brings in D-Knight, and I just fodder my Flareon just to get it out of there so I can get in something better. Uh, I bring in Jolteon rather than Glaceon because I don't exactly want to scare him off. Because this Jolteon does pack the HP Ice. I set up my sub predicting him to switch, and the fact that he sets up a DD tells me that he doesn't expect an HP Ice whatsoever. So I'm just going to go for it right now, and hopefully that'll surprise him and take it out. So that's what I do. Uh, this is my Life Orb Substitute Jolteon. Uh, you're sup I'm supposed to pass a few wishes to it, but he sets up Stealth Rock, and I can't get rid of it, so that's pretty much useless. So this Jolteon's going to be like a one-time use, maybe two, if I switch it out right now. But I don't exactly want to do that. Anyway, he brings in his Ape. I set up my sub again. Uh, I think, I'm think i thinking maybe he'll think that I'm trying to sub down to a Pattaya or something, but... That's not the case, I do pack the life orb. Maybe he saw that, I don't know. Uh, he hits me with a super powerful flamethrower, and this Jolteon is now officially fodder because I'm not going to be able to get anything going with it. I'm just going to hit him with a stab T-Bolt. It's not going to KO him. Uh, it would have actually, just barely, but um, I guess I got some luck there with the para hacks, but unfortunately he doesn't stay fully paralyzed, so I can't stay in and do anything about it. So he's living with the Focus Sash. That kind of sucks, but whatever. So I come in with my Leafeon, and the whole time I was using it, I thought, like, I have Choice Band. Uh, this is a Choice Band. It's a really unique, it's a unique set that I can't kind of came up with. It's not on, it's nowhere that I could find. But it turns out it doesn't work that well, uh, considering it doesn't have Chlorophyll. Um, so anyway, he has a Staraptor in there, and I'm not going to stay around for a Brave Bird. So I go to Umbreon, thinking I can take it pretty well. And I'm not sure if he's Banded or Scarfed or whatever. I know he's Choice, but... Damn, that hurt a lot. So, at this point, I think he's banded. Uh, so, I'm just going to go to Vaporeon, knowing he's going to continue Brave Birding, and Vaporeon should be able to live a hit, and I just want to rape him with Recoil, because honestly, I have nothing that's going to be faster than it except Glaceon, and I can't get that switched in anyway. So, there goes the Recoil. It it does destroy that Staraptor. It's not going to be able to do anything, so I'm just going to protect, get some lefties, and... Uh, I'm just gonna fodder my Vaporeon because I need to get that Staraptor dead. I have nothing else I can. I have nothing else I can touch it. Uh, I actually get the second Protect off there, so that was good. I was lucky. I guess I got kind of got some hacks in my, going my way this game. Um, more to make up for that four to five crits. Huh? Anyway, uh, he gets it with recoil. You know, whatever. So I sent him my Scarfed Glaceon, which I probably should have. I probably should have saved my Vaporeon and just foddered my. Uh, my Umbreon, but the, the idea at this point was I'd be able to go into Umbreon and curse up, but that's not going to be the case, as you'll see here. Uh, so I went for a Sunny Day with my um, Glaceon. I couldn't think of a fourth move, so I was like, oh, I'll just put Sunny Day on and have a Scarf Sunny Day here. Why not? Just in case. Uh, so he's just going to finish off my Umbreon with a Surf and then a T-Bolt, because Umbreon is slow as dirt. Anyway, I go to Leafeon because he can't do too much unless he's packing Ice Beam, which I'm not sure if he does. 
So in comes the Celebi, and I went for the obvious, obvious Leaf Blade. I, pr I probably could have juked him out and just went into Glaceon, and I think, but I thought he'd stay in and go for an Ice Attack. But whatever, didn't work out that way. Uh, that Celebi isn't going to be too difficult to take out, even though I am left with, like, my last two guys are choice. I should be able to take it out pretty easily. So, at this point, the sunlight fades, and now I have options. My options are Ice Beam or Sunny Day, and my thought process was still that, um, uh, Leafeon has Chlorophyll, <laughs> so. Uh, unfortunately, his Grass Knot doesn't quite take me out, so at this point I'm like, damn it, I should have Ice Beamed, I should have just killed it. And that sucks. So, I know he has Hidden Power Ice now at this point. And the reason I wasn't too scared of Celebi is because my Leafeon actually packs the X Scissor. So I should be able to take it out with one hit, because I am Choice Banded. And uh, I'm locked into X Scissor now, because X Scissor will be able to take out his Starmie as well. But unfortunately, his Celebi decides it doesn't want to die yet, and it survives. Uh, it gets the Hidden Power Ice off, and I do survive that, but it doesn't matter because um, whatever he has left is going to kill me. I could I could take out the Staraptor, and I could take out the Starmie with an X Scissor, but now I can't. Uh, so that's going to be the game. Um, he's just going to come in and get me with a novelty quick attack kill from a Staraptor. So I don't think I did too bad considering I had a bunch of lower tier stuff and the fact that I was completely an idiot in terms of my abilities. But anyway... It was a game battles match, so I can't blame him for bringing high tier stuff. That's what you're supposed to do. I thought I could win with this team, and I I did get several wins with this team, but I can't show them to you, unfortunately, because everybody who I beat with this low tier crap decided to disconnect right before they lost, and that is not good. Whatever. So, you're just going to see a bunch of losses from this Eevee team, because that's the only way I could get a gameplay from it. Anyway... Black and White Let's Play coming at you soon. As, uh, I haven't really tried to do anything with it yet, but uh, I'm just hoping I don't have any technical difficulties like other people were having. Um, I, I, I know I will. Like, what am I, who am I kidding? My computer sucks. I'm probably just not going to do a live com. I'm probably just going to play the game and then commentate over it later. That's probably the best way. Um, anyway, I've got a new awesome, awesome, awesome mixed tier team that I really want to try out. Uh, I'm probably going to use it in the Xerxes Exat Mixed Tier Tournament, um, the Big March Madness Tournament. If I'm in, I'm not sure if I'm in. I haven't played enough tournaments on the Exat because I don't have enough time for that. But I did play in a few. I did get a few points. I am ranked, and uh, depending on how big they decide to make the tournament, because they haven't decided that yet, I could be in or I could be out, and I just really want to use that team, and I know I'll get some good gameplays with it. It has... A really, really unique strat that I, I, I hope uh, I hope does well. So anyway, apart from that, uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow with a, another gameplay. Um, yeah, that's it. See you guys later.